What's up, everybody? All right, got another strength workout for you here. We're gonna walk you through day one. Let's get to it. We we'll start off with kettlebell swings. Grab a kettlebell, okay? The key here is not to, we're gonna hinge at the shoulder and not really kind of use our biceps to flex the kettlebell. We really wanna squeeze the glutes and let the kettlebell just flop, okay? And you're really squeezing the glutes, which is your bum, to get the kettle, to explosively get the kettlebell to move, okay? It's not so much a shoulder exercise, more of a, a trunk exercise. All right, that's kettlebell swings. Next, side steps. You're gonna take a cord, okay? Big thing here, you're gonna make an X, and then you're gonna have an athletic stance. An athletic stance is a stance that you're ready for anything. And you're gonna side to the step to the side, leading with the heel. Leading with the heel. Okay, side steps. Remember, big chest. Okay, pin those shoulder blades back, lead with the heel. Really try to find that pressure point, again, in your glutes. All that is a preamble for a deadlift. So on the dead, I like the hex bar a lot. If you don't have a hex bar, you can use a straight bar. Hex bar deadlift. Make sure you come in, feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Toes pointed 10, 5, 15 degrees out. Okay, you're set up with a big chest. Okay, butt back first, chest stays nice and big. And you're hinging at the knees and the hips at the same rate. Butt back first, big chest, hinging at the same rate. That's a deadlift. After the deadlift, you're gonna come over and do what we're calling a mid thigh pull. It's part of the clean, of the clean and jerk. So actually, I'm gonna go on this side so you can see it a little bit better. Whoop, woo, okay. So hands a little bit more than shoulder width apart. You're gonna have the bar free from the rack. You're gonna have an athletic stance, big chest, pin those shoulder blades back. You're gonna have the bar slide down the thighs. Once it gets right above the knee, you're gonna jump up. Slide down the knee. Squeeze the glutes, stand tall. Slide down the knee. Squeeze the glutes, stand tall. This is called a mid-thigh pull or mid-thigh clean pull. Oh, okay. I think the next exercise, as I put that down, you know, lift with the back, not with the legs. No. Okay, so next up we got pull-ups, okay? Pull-ups, make sure your hands are facing away. Hands facing away. And then you're gonna have, you're gonna start from a hang and pull all the way up, chin over the bar. Okay, come down nice and controlled. All the way up, chin over the bar. Partial reps don't count. Well, they do kind of count to so do your best. All right. Next up, we've got single leg calf raises. Okay, so for the single leg calf raise, I'd like you to get a sort of an elevated stance. You're gonna take maybe the kettlebell you're just using, or some other weight, put it in the opposite hand you're using for the calf you're doing the calf raise on. The hand that holds and supports is flat. It's not gripping and helping you move. It's just nice and flat. Okay, it could be just for resistant or for us uh, support. Okay, single leg calf raise. Make sure you hold at the top. Squeeze the top. Squeeze the top. All right, last exercise. Hollow hold, everybody's favorite. You're gonna come onto a mat. The hollow hold is basically when you want to pull your belly button down through your spine as you lift your limbs off the ground. Belly button to the spine. The further away your feet and hands are from your trunk, the harder it is. You bring them in, the easier it is. As you get further out, it gets harder. Easier, harder. Those are hollow holds. That's what we got for day one. Let's get after it.